<laughs> What's going on, guys? Welcome to a brand new episode of A Chat with Beastly. Today, we talk about DC Comics, their extended movie universe, issues I have with the universe over the Marvel Universe, and what I think would put it back on the right track. I recently went to the theater to see the new Justice League film. It starred Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, Flash, and Cyborg. The film followed the events of the Batman vs. Superman, Suicide Squad, and Wonder Woman films. I didn't really like the Batman vs. Superman movie. I, I mean, it was okay, but far from what I thought the Marvel films had achieved. The Wonder Woman film was undoubtedly a better film, but in my opinion, it also lacked polish, the care, or direction or even the execution of the Marvel films. But Suicide Squad was my least liked DC film. It lacked direction, character development, or a plot. It just felt like a group of underpowered villains walking through a town, taking out NPCs, only to reach a boss that was a cross between a dancing Jif and Jubilee. What Marvel seemed to accomplish with its films was a sense of character development that spanned many films before the iconic Avengers, Captain America Civil War, and Thor Ragnarok films. Marvel spent time and care building up their characters, fleshing out their personalities, and displaying their strengths and weaknesses in easily digestible and meaningful ways. After establishing their characters in their own standalone films, building the Marvel Cinematic Universe around them, Marvel was ready to create their tentpole film, The Avengers. Since then, they've continued to bring those stories together in boombastic ways that always seem to trump their predecessors, so it's like every one of their movies gets better. The fact that Marvel Films seems to have incredible action and set pieces didn't hurt either. Fast-paced and fun battles that made childhood favorite superheroes look cool was a big part of my attraction to their franchises and what honestly keeps me engaged and ready for whatever they announce next. DC, on the other hand, is having major issues keeping fans engaged in the same way than Marvel is, in my opinion. Zack Snyder's dark take on the universe doesn't jive well with me. I think doing a dark universe is fine, but Snyder's take on that universe is my issue, as well as the direction he's taken with some of my favorite characters. You can see the issues in every trailer. Slow motion. Slow motion is used gratuitously in the DCEU, which is something used much less in the Marvel films. Dramatic stares are also used way too much. The only film series with this many shots that are staring at each other's eyes is Twilight. When you look at the action sequences, they just feel lame. They feel CG heavy and slow compared to the Marvel fight scenes. And the choice to give characters with no true powers, superpowers, like when Batman was fighting Superman and was able to pick him up and throw him around like he weighed 20 pounds, those directional choices just did not feel right to me. The DC films also tried to reach the same point as the Marvel films with one-tenth the work. So instead of creating a world where you cared about the heroes because you saw them in origin stories and follow-up films like Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, or Guardians of the Galaxy, DC decided to skip the introductions altogether, to skip character development, opting to instead bring all their Justice League members together in what they hoped would be a superhero extravaganza after only four previous films, The Man of Steel, uh, Batman v Superman, my least liked film, Suicide Squad, and of course Wonder Woman, which was the best received film in the DCEU. I really wanted Justice League to be an awesome film, but it wasn't. The story seemed rushed to me, the main enemy was a joke, which he honestly was, and the characters didn't do enough in my opinion to keep me engaged. There was a few scenes that I really liked, but there just weren't enough scenes to keep me excited about the film. Enter Injustice 2, a fighting game series set in the DCEU that pits fighters of all backgrounds against one another in epic ways. This game takes even characters that aren't really all that powerful and makes them stand out. While the fighting is great, the game has some uh, great super moves too, like the best super moves I've ever seen. The true shining point of this game is the campaign or the story. Firstly, allow me to clarify, I'm not a great player in any Injustice games. I've actually only played through the story campaign of both games. Uh, though as time allows me, I plan to get better at it, so keep your eyes open for that. The creative minds behind Mortal Kombat X, as well as the first Injustice and Injustice 2, are writers Dominic C Cienciello, John Greenberg, and Sean Kettleson. And the director is Mortal Kombat creator Ed Boon. I had to know who put this game together as soon as I finished completing it because it was simply put the best superhero film I had ever seen. Film you ask? I say yes. 
Injustice follows the comic book story with the same name created by Tom Taylor, but deconstructed and reconstructed as an epic video game. This game tells such an engaging story with twists and turns, even those who don't usually like video games or comics would be glued to the sofa under the narrative weight. Side note, during the first Injustice game two years ago, my brother and sister-in-law visited and they stayed until the game was completed because the story was so epic. The plot in Injustice 2 is very good. The characters are well realized and the voice and motion captured acting is better than what we're getting in most of the DC EU film universe right now. I wouldn't spoil the story, but just imagine an epic superhero film that easily lasts six to eight hours that grounds heroes and villains in genius ways while telling a story that rivals or surpasses every single Marvel film to date. Yeah, it's that good. Add to that being able to see each character shine in his or her own way, giving them all pivotal roles to play in the story. That's exactly what Injustice did for me. Upon completing the game, I looked at my wife and I said, wow, if they let the writers and directors of this game create a DCEU film, they could actually rival the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And after she completed her playthrough, she came back to me and completely agreed. DC should learn from the successes of the Injustice games. Fans buy them not only because they're fun as hell, but because we know that the story pedigree that comes with the games is a complete package. NetherRealm Studios has made DC superheroes very cool and just as fun to play with as they are to watch, while crafting incredibly deep and well-developed stories with zero slow motion scenes or long, slow, agonizing facial expressions. I don't know if Ed Boone and his team would ever consider crafting a DC film, but after seeing what they've come up with so far, I couldn't think of a better choice to bring the film universe out of the ashes to compete head-to-head -head with Disney and Marvel. You guys tell me what you think of DC versus Marvel and their situation. Have you ever played an Injustice game? And if not, why the hell not? And last but not least, what is your favorite superhero film of all time? Let me know in the comments. Thank you guys so much for joining me for another chat with Beastly. Please leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, share with your friends on social media, and subscribe to my channel to keep up with everything that I do. If you'd like to support my channel at $1 per month on Patreon, that would be awesome, and there's a link in the description below. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.